forecast. Yeah, just crazy. Some of the video we saw yesterday, Columbus, Mississippi, not too far from our area, did have two tornadoes that went through the area yesterday that caused some significant damage across the area just south of Columbus Air Force Base. Uh, so pretty rough weather out there. Tuscaloosa had some rough weather too. Look at this. The sky's starting to break up a little bit here. The clouds are so looking pretty good this morning after the rough weather, but still cloudy here in town from our BJCC camera. 62 degrees our temperature with a west wind around 7, dew point 60. Haven't seen that front kind of move through the area and cool things off yet, but if if you notice this skinny dotted line of showers, that is the cold front here, and it is working its way into the area, pushing the rough weather we had last night away from us. And again, looking at uh, some better weather improving. Severe weather's confined to the Florida Panhandle now near Dothan, Alabama, and parts of Georgia, as they're going to be dealing with the rough conditions. But our area weather is improving. There was reports of some wind damage out there, even a few tornadoes across Green and Hale counties, and also down between Montgomery and Wetumpka. We did report significant damage in some places there, and maybe some injuries. Injuries. So that's something we'll keep an eye on for you too. Uh, but the wind damage again, something we'll have to watch out for. Also, flooding concerns across St. Clair County too, as they picked up an intense amount of rain. Look at that there. Uh, anywhere from three to six inches of rain across St. Clair County. Reports of flooding from Springville back to the Moody area. Potentially rivers and streams running high across Metro Birmingham as well, from Gardendale to Birmingham, Hoover back down toward Pelham and Alabaster as you picked up three to six inches of rain as well. Still about 10,000 customers without power here in Birmingham, 4,500 in St. Clair County about 2000 in the Calhoun County. So even up to Walker County, about 3500 customers without power. So that's all from the storms that are moving away. The weather will be improving today. The skies gradually clearing and the cold air in the 30s to our west gradually moves in by tonight, replacing the 60s we have out there right now. Future cast will show the cloud cover thinning out as we get to about seven o'clock to eight o'clock or so this morning. We'll start off there in the 50s and 40s over into Hamilton, but sunshine by lunchtime, upper 40s to lower 50s. That'll be the trend through the afternoon hours. This evening, we're in the 40s by dinner time. By 10 o'clock tonight, 30s for much of the area, and you're waking up tomorrow morning, 20s and 30s. Very cold start to your day tomorrow. We do rebound up only to the lower to mid 50s, so not much of warm up with some sunshine. And as we head into Friday morning, clouds return ahead of our next front. We'll see temperatures warming back into the 60s there for Friday. That front is going to be our next weather maker as you'll see as it moves on in Saturday morning, bringing us some wet weather that'll clear the area by allowing for some colder weather and some lingering clouds and showers as we head into Sunday. So today 56 falling temperatures back to the 60s Friday and Saturday back to the 50s on Sunday, the back to the 70s. The front comes back north as a warm front with some rain early next week.